everyone. In today's video, we are going to see how we can copy an entire data table, including the data that is the rows, into a new data table. Also, we are going to see how we can copy just the headers or schema from one data table to another, which is nothing but cloning of the data table. And finally, stay tuned to the end as the most important part of the video, how we are going to write the cloned data table into an excel sheet we are going to see all this so these are today's big learning in a short video let's get started so we have this input data excel file where we have two columns name and id and the values in the form of a table we are going to read this input uh, data excel file using the read range activity under workbook and then create a data table out of which we are going to clone and copy into other data tables. In UiPath Studio, let's drag the read range activity. We'll drag the read range activity under workbook. Browse the input file, input data, and then we want to read the entire. So we'll remove the range and store the result data table in a variable let's create it dt underscore input now that we have our input data table now let's create two new data tables one which is a copy of it for that let's drag the assign and create a new data table dt underscore copy and assign dt dot sorry dt underscore input dot copy so the dt underscore copy is a data table not a string so let's change the variable type to data table next we will drag another assign activity and create a new variable dt underscore clone and set the variable type to data table dt underscore clone we will assign it to dt underscore input dot clone so this is how we are going to copy a data table into a new data table using dot copy and we want just the headers or the schema of the table and not the data or rows then we will use data table dot clone now let's see how the new data table looks so for that we will use output data table activity and we will drag it two times for the both ones first we will have the dt copy and store the results the results will be in the form of a string which we can print so we will create a new variable out underscore copy and for the second activity of output data table, we will put dt underscore clone and we will store it in a um, text variable out underscore clone. So we'll create this out underscore clone variable and this is done. Now we will show display this in the log message. So let's again pull two log messages. We'll display copied data table so to display that we have pulled the log message and we'll write copied data table is out underscore copy and in the second log message we'll say clone data table so in the second log message we will say clone data table is out underscore clone so let's execute and see how are the new two data tables looking like we can see the results in the output pan and here, perfect, we got the copy data table, both the header as well as the names. And in the clone data table, we just got the headers and no data into it. Now let's use the right range activity in order to write down the copy data into the Excel sheet. So we'll put the right range under workbook and browse the file where we want to write the data. And then the data table will put dt underscore copy 
as we also need to write down the headers so we will click on add headers over here ensure that you click on this or else the headers won't be written into the excel sheet so now let's run and see the result we'll open the file and check perfect we have got both the headers and the data ensure that you clean all the data present in this one and now let's rerun with the cloned data table so here i have changed it to clone data table and we will rerun it let's check when you open the sheet and check we see that nothing is present we were expecting just the headers to be present in this uh, excel file but nothing has been written this is because we have used the activity which is the right range activity present under file workbook so in order to write the data table which doesn't has any rows just the headers into an excel sheet we have to use the right range activity present under app integration excel so let's retry that we'll close this one and then drag the right range activity but for that we need the excel scope so first pull the excel scope and inside that we'll place the right range activity and browse the file output excel right range file and then the data table dt underscore clone and ensure that you click on add headers over here as well and run this now let's open the excel sheet and see how the result looks okay perfect we just got the headers so to summarize we can copy an existing data table into a new data table using the assign activity like data table new equals to old data table dot copy and we can just get the schema of the existing data table without the contents that is the rows and values by using data table dot clone then we can write down these new data tables into an excel sheet using the right range activity but we have to keep in mind just that we can write the clone data table which just has the headers only using the right range activity which is present under app integration excel the right range activity which is present under workbook will not work when a data table just has the headers and doesn't have any rows also remember to check or uncheck the add headers box under the properties panel as per your need hope this big learning in the short video was helpful so stay tuned for more such videos thank you for watching